like, I mean, it was traumatizing, but it was also traumatizing in a way that just got your adrenaline up. You were, it was just moving through you. Yeah, I have whole panic attacks. I know, I never panic felt panic more alive. No, never. It wasn't, that wasn't the issue. I literally <laughs> wanted to crawl downstairs. I wasn't, <laughs> never felt more alive. Okay. No, so I mean, I did have things. a moment where those spiral stairs, they, they freaked me out. And I thought, I'm just going to start walking back down. No. And someone's like, no, you can't walk back down. And I was like, I will kick down these stairs anyone who tries to stop you me couldn't. you had to go up up to the top of the thing <laughs> and you realize that you're on top of this cement thing that was built 18 years like thousand years ago and it's like i just wouldn't i couldn't oh because the floor was tilting downward like that freaked me out but you know what got me I just hugged the wall. is that none of us had phones and nobody got pictures. Imagine you climbed up 800 stairs, literal, it's not exaggerated, to not even capture the view. That is what it felt like in the 50s of travel. Well, I know it was downright dumb, but it's because they told you you couldn't take pictures inside the church. And I would like to say we were super respectful of that. So we didn't even take our phones because we thought, well, we can't take pictures. Right. And then suddenly you're outside on this... And I'm going to tell you, it was an amazing view. I, really I assume you weren't in. looking at it. No, I, I looked at the wall and my hands hugging it to walk across. Oh, hearing Sarah tell the story, she's like, I just heard her on the other side crying and I was trying to get to her, <laughs> but I didn't want to go outside. I watched her walk by 